NTV, we are live from Serena Conference Center, and this is Morning at NTV. I'm Andrew Chama. Get on moon to our and see the conversation we had earlier with uh, Captain Charles. It was entirely about retirement. Think about the retirement and how you're going to go around it. Now, on Monday, security officials hinted on a number of issues in the meeting with the Fourth Estate, among them COVID 19 SOPs, uh, violations in taxi and cars with the numberless number plates. These were addressed. Now, these issues immediately set up an agenda that made rounds on social media, especially in the Kampala Central District. To make sense to these issues, we have Mr. Patrick Onyango, the Kampala Metropolitan Police Spokesperson, and we have Mr. Moses Birunji, Spokesperson of the Kampala Operational Taxi Stages Association. Good morning, Mr. Birunji. Morning, Sebo. Uh, good to see you. Same to me. Uh, Afande, good morning. Good morning to our viewers. I find it for you and I, we have unsettled conversations, but we'll get, we'll get to those a little later. <laughs> Let me start with Mr. Birunji. Had tax operators abandoned SOPs? Uh, I'm happy that I'm here, yeah. and I'm glad that uh, we are addressing something which is very important in the Yes. yes. Mm. So we, we, tax operators did not abandon What the did they do? There was a bit of relaxation. Okay. So after, on realizing that we had relaxed a bit, we came up to reinforce. As an association? Not as an association, mm. but generally as tax operators. Mm. Because we have a number of associations mm -hmm. that, uh, that associate taxi mm. drivers and conductors. Mm -hmm. But specifically, Kotisa joined the hands this time with other uh, sister associations yeah. to fight this uh, why were your why were your members relaxed? Is it about money? Is it about greed of a life or something? You see, uh, if we go to, if I can give an example of holy books, mm. they are never changed. I, I am over sixty now, mm. but what I found there is what I what is there today. Currently in place. So uh, this is sort of reminding. We, we keep on reminding ourselves mm. on certain issues. So these issues of uh, uh, SOPs mm. are part of the issues that we need to remind ourselves. So uh, the, as I said, it was a sort of relaxation. Mm. We learned that the government was not happy with us. Mm. And uh, there was a plan of locking us down again. Even us were not happy. When I saw that on the road, I was like, for but real? So, it's only taxi drivers or taxi business mm. where we, the, the accession is everywhere. But since I'm, I'm here on behalf of taxi We're going to have that conversation. Uh, we, I, I, I admit yes. we are relaxed. And because of that, we should be thanked that we came up mm. to reinforce the guidance that we are putting in place. Thank by you so much. Afande here... Uh, Afando Nyango, you prompted to call the town attention to public transport means. Um, what triggered this? No, first of all, let me say that we are very pleased mm. with the tax industry, the operators, mm. because they came up as a, a joint, joint, uh, joint force. Mm. That means all the tax operators, the, their associations, yes. they were about six. Mm. And you know they have not been meeting together. So they came and met, and we talked to them, and they also realized that there is a bit of, uh, they are not complying with the SOPs as directed by the Minister of Health. Mm. So what prompted this is the relaxation. We had seen most of them uh, were now uh, taking more than the required number. It was agreed that I have the capacity. Mm. So for them, they are now even taking more than the capacity they are supposed to take. Mm. So we had to come in because we are seeing it is one way they are trying to cause the spread of coronavirus to increase. Uh, we had also got information that some of them, others comply. Mm. When they are at the park, they load the required half capacity, mm. but in rooted on the way as they are going to their destination, they start picking passengers, mm. and they go with what? Uh, in that process, mm. they load the number which is not required, there's no sanitation, there's no social distancing in the, in the taxi itself. So we, we, uh, we had to come up, meet with them, and we agreed. 
on what to do. And we are very, very happy that they uh, accepted mm. what we proposed to them mm. and they have come to join hands with us, especially us with the law enforcers. Mm. They are now doing the work of enforcement. For us, we are just now supporting them. Okay. Mm. Uh, Mr. Birunji, what could have triggered this? Yes, you saw the relaxation. Yes, you admit that there was relaxation. What are the re implications if someone has kept on relaxing what you agreed upon? It's either way. Mm. Uh, we, uh, uh, we the, 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 the leaders, mm. relaxed a bit. And we thought things were going as planned, mm. whereas it, it, it was not the case. Mm. Secondly, this is a nature. Mm that a human being at times tends to forget or relax. Mm. So other than those two, I have no another reason that I can give. Uh, that could have been triggered. All right. Um, me and Afande, we are going to talk from here like this. Afande, this is going to be very fine because I really want us to have a social distancing and very quick issues here. So... <clears throat> This was not something only to do with police, rather with, with the tax operators, mm. but this was to do with something on a whole. What offense is committed by a passenger if they go in a taxi oh. of um, more, capacity, more capacity, and why are they being arrested? If, because now we have decided, together with them, mm. that they are supposed to take eight passengers, mm -hmm. plus the driver, the ninth, mm. and the tenth, uh, the conductor. Mm. So if if we get you, you are the ninth passenger. Okay. There you are doing an act that is likely spread uh, infectious disease. Mm -hmm. And infectious disease now is COVID-19. Yes. It is section 171 of the Penal Court Act. Mm. And in case in case you are convicted, you are liable to seven years. These are in the law books. Mm. We did manufacture them yesterday. The laws were not passed yesterday. It is there. We are just implementing the law. Mm. So you as a passenger, from today, be very careful. Don't allow <laughs> to be confused, to be convinced that, please, this one, uh, the eighth passenger is coming out in the just a few minutes, meters away from here. Mm. Then they squeeze you. Mm. You become the ninth Passenger. So you'll you, arrest me. We the shall arre arrest you. The Why night. not the driver or the conductor? No, but we are also supposed to be aware of what what is happening, and that's why we are very happy with NTV mm. for inviting us here to explain to people why you're going to arrest them. Person, yes, for the passengers to know mm. that now it is wrong for me to board a taxi which is already which is already having eight passengers. Wow. That's a conversation we're having. Let's take a break briefly. We're just taking a very, very simple break. We're talking about this. You're about to be arrested if you're the ninth passenger. It's morning at NTV. Good.